Okay, so this is our bottom furler. Um, we're having to change this today because it's got really sticky, which means when we're out at sea, we can't get our jib in. It gets stuck and that's obviously not a safe condition to be in. So the whole thing's got to come off. We're going to undo it at the bottom of this bolt here. Um, we've got to slacken it all off, take this whole unit out and put a brand new unit on. All right, here's Alan. We are um, just marking off our bottle screws just to make sure that when we undo them, we've got a rough idea how to do them back up. In order to take the bottom furler out, we've got to loosen the mast. Uh, currently, the mast sits slightly back. We've got to release all the tension so it stands up nice and straight, slackens a little bit forward, and then we'll be able to take it out. So just a little bit of white tape at the top and the bottom of these bottle screws will give us an indication of where it was so it'll be easier to put back. Once it's roughly back, we'll be able to just adjust it to make sure our mast is straight. Here you can see we've hung a bucket of water from the top of the mast, just so we can remember what sort of rake we've got on our mast towards the back, so that when we put everything back together, we can get something similar. Sorry about the noise, guys. Somebody's fresh washing their boat, but um, we've used two of our hires to connect the mast forward to our cleats. And they obviously go up the mast and we've used the main halyard from the back. And we've tied that at the back there just to stabilize our mast. And we've marked off all of our bottle screws and now we're getting ready to loosen the whole thing off. Okay, so we're releasing our backstay. So our mast is moving further forward. We need to do this to get the bottom furler off. Um, we've marked it with white tape, as you can see, it's going up nicely, so we should be getting some difference now at the front. I think we're going to go quite loose. Hopefully this will make reassembly a lot easier. Well, we've had problems fitting our new bottom furler. At the moment, we've got the entire force day down a bit of a feat on our boat as you can see it's quite long um, we're having to make sure that the forestay itself is not being changed in length it's the foil the new furler means the distances are a little bit different so we've got to change the length of the foil which has an adjustable part to fix it here's the new bottom furler now, the stainless steel plates at the bottom happen to be shorter than our old one and the drum itself is bigger. But the overall difference in length is about two and a half centimetres. So that's what's causing the problem and we've got to adjust the length of the foil to suit. So hopefully you can see the problem we've got here. You can see the top part of the picture is our new one. The bottom part of the picture is the old one. And they are a different size, so they're different lengths which means there's no way we could use our force day without adjusting it. Just trying to put that new bottom filler on and adjust the length of the foil. So that's, oh God, there's a bit of lining up to do there, isn't there? Yeah. No, it's a lot easier doing it there than. So that's that gap there. Okay. So at least 30 mil. So we've got to adjust it. So that that gap is between 30 and 100 mil. About 50 mil. Well, yeah, yeah, there or thereabouts. So, and then that will determine where we lock the foil. Well, everything's reattached. And Jeremy's back off up the mast. We need to re-hoist the whole of the foil stay up and reattach it, ready to make the adjustments. It's a very long force day. 
doesn't look this uh, big when it's in situ. But as we get to the end, we can now see that around here, there we go. Everything that needed reattaching is reattaching. So once the top of this is reattached, I've got to get the clevis pin through there. Makes it sound so easy. Jeremy's partially up the mast. We've got some entanglement issues that we're just sorting out. Um, he's got his tools, and off he goes. Needs to get to about there. The pin is in. I'm just going to get the flip pin in. You can see the foil is slightly curved, coming down, and Alan's supporting it at the front. Well, we've had to wait a week from the last work that we did on putting our new bottom furler on um, because we had horrendous storms. We had Gale Force 8 in the marina. Oh, and I'm stuck. We don't want that. Um, yeah, we had Gale Force 8 in the marina. Alan's now just looking at the last bit of the job we've got to do. The plan this morning is um, we've got to attach the foil to, uh, to the right height. We've got, to, we've got to get the foil up like this. And then we've got rivet holes here and we're going to drill into the foil and secure the foil at the right height. That's the plan. Tish is going up the mast uh, and I'm going to be um, drilling the, the foil down here. And then the final part is we've got this little uh, guide for, for guiding. The feeder. Yeah, the feeder. The feeder for the south. Uh, for the, for the, the Genoa. So um, that'll be the final bit that goes on. Once once that's up, then that'll go there. And, and I'll drill a hole through there and that'll fix that. But we're not using those old holes, are we? We're drilling brand new holes. No, we're not using the old holes because they're too big. Too big and they're in the wrong place. Well, they're, they're in a place, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put some new holes in and make sure we don't drill into the uh, four stay. stay. Yeah, we don't want to drill the four stay. So that's this morning's job. When that's done, we can put the sail on. Yeah, that's the plan. And it's beautiful today. I'm at the top of the mast by uh, Alan fixing the foil bank. It's all looking good up here. Can't see any problems with any of our rigging. Um, yeah, I'll have to. The bottom furl is on, it's fixed in place. We now have the mainsail as well uh, on. We've got our jib on, all, re all lined in, tested furling, ready to go. And now we've just got to do a few little jobs, fueling and things, ready to leave.